So hello boys and girls and welcome to today's tutorial on how to make a Cleotic seahorse and a Cleotic octopus. I'm Louise, I'm the founder of Cleotic. So Cleotic is the first Irish brand of modeling clay. It doesn't stick to clothes, carpet or hair and it air dries. So basically you get to keep whatever you make provided you're happy with it. If you're not happy with it, just put it back in the container and you can reuse it again and again. So it really is a fantastic product. Today's tutorial is sponsored by Meath County Council and Dunboyne Library. So I'm just going to mention the Summer Star Reading Programme 2021. It's a great initiative. You have to go into your library and they'll give you a card which you get stamped when you return your books and you'll receive rewards along the way. So please just go to your local library for more information. Now, boys and girls, I'm just going to show you a few examples of what I have made in the past with Cleotic. So here's the first little example here. So as you can see, this is an empty yogurt container and I just wrapped a um, Cleotic pirate character around it just to show you that you can upcycle, you can recycle and reuse all your plastics by adding a little bit of Cleotic to it. That's one. So I'm sure you have plenty of pencils at home. So what I've done is I've got some Cleotic and wrapped it around the whole entire pencil and made it into a little carrot character. And then Cleotic is a great way of making your own cards for any special occasion. Just stick it on to the card. I've made that, it was for Mother's Day, a little superhero hero mum. That's good, isn't it? Here's the two examples of the characters we're going to make today. So we have a little octopus. I'm just going to put this here. We have an octopus and we have a little seahorse. See that? seahorse and an octopus. So it's lovely, isn't it? So the first character we're going to create today is the seahorse. Okay. I'm just going to bring my computer down and let's get playing. So <clears throat> in your pack, you would have got a large amount of yellow, a small amount of red, two eyes and a little toothpick. So that's all what we need to make our own little sea lion here. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is take out the yellow. I'm putting my lid back on because it's just an air drying clay. You can put it back into the bag, whatever um, way your kit came. And you're going to stretch and you're going to fold the yellow. You're going to stretch and you're going to fold like this, just to get a little feel of what the clay is like. Okay, so stretch over and back like that, just for a few times like that, okay? Now, in order to make anything from Cleotic, you need to know three shapes, okay, boys and girls? So the first shape is the simplest of shape, it's a ball. So I'm going to do mine in the palm of my hands like this. So into a ball, you roll, 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 roll like that. And I'm happy doing mine in the palm of my hands. You might be more comfortable, boys and girls, doing it on the table. Whatever way you feel comfortable, please do so. Now, you see? Mine is wrinkle free. You want to have a good professional model. That's why I'm here today to give you a few tips and tricks along the way. So that's a wrinkle free ball we're after. OK, so when we have the ball done, the second shape is called a droplet because it looks like a teardrop or a raindrop. So with the ball, you can see there, I'm going to ask you to decide where the halfway mark is. My halfway mark, boys and girls, is approximately there. So you're going to get the palm of your hand and you're going to put pressure on one side of the droplet only, just one side, not the whole entire, and not in, in, on the whole entire ball, just one side of the ball, you put pressure on like that, okay? So you just use that side of your hand and you put pressure on one side of the ball, okay? So that's called a droplet because it looks like a teardrop or raindrop. So that's the second shape. So we had the ball, we have the droplet, and now we're going to do our third shape, which is a sausage. So over and back like this, boys and girls, over and back. Okay, so there are the three shapes we need to know to make anything from Cleotic, the ball, the droplet, and the sausage, okay? So put back our yellow, just stretch and fold it again. And now we're going to officially start making our seahorse, okay? So what I want you to do is get all the yellow 
and I'm going to get used to add a tiny little bit of red. So look at only a tiny little bit around that amount. And we're actually going to mix our colors. We're going to mix a light shade of orange. So with a tiny bit of red and the yellow, you're going to stretch and you're going to fold. So it's like paint, boys and girls. You can mix any shade or any tone you're after. So it's a lovely way to understand how to mix colors. So you stretch and you fold and you'll see boys and girls it goes a beautiful marbly color and then it becomes the actual lighter shade of orange or a darker shade of yellow whatever way you want to look at it i'm just going to hold it up to the camera now just so you see so try and get it as mixed in as you can so like that okay so it's just a, a darker shade of yellow it's like it's my orange it's very similar to that color that i have there Okay, so when you have it all mixed in, you're going to roll it into a ball. And we're going to now divide up into the, all the different sections. We're going to make it into its proportions. So the head, the body and the tail. So there we have the ball. And then you're going to divide where the halfway mark is. So my halfway mark is around there, boys and girls. I'm just going to make a little incision with my skewer and I'm going to cut it in two. So you have two, should be equal, relatively equal amounts of clay. OK, so one of those bits are going to be for the body and the other bits here are for the head and for the tail. So we're going to divide that into a, we're going to roll it into a ball first and then divide it into two. And this will do the head and the tail. Okay, like That and that. There are the amounts there. That's for the head. That's for the tail. And remember, that's for the body. I'm going to put my head and tail out of the way. I'm going to put them back in my tub. You can put them back in the plastic bag. OK. Now, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to roll this into a ball because anybody out there tell me what shape the actual um, body of the sea lion is. It's not a ball. It's a flattened droplet. Very good. I heard someone shouting out there. It's a flattened droplet. So into a ball and then we're going to decide where the halfway mark is, remember, and use this side of our hand and we're going to put pressure on one side of the ball only, one side of the ball only. There's a droplet, looking good, isn't it? And then, boys and girls, we're just going to use the palm of our hand and we're going to flatten it ever so slightly like that, like that, okay? So just a little flattened droplet. It's a very important shape um, when you're model making, a flattened droplet, okay? Now, we're going to go back to our kit and remember, we have plenty of red left. So I'm going to ask you to take around this amount away. So look at, all you need is around this amount. So it's like a pea size. And we're going to do, if you can see here, boys and girls, my little um, chest off the sea horse is actually, again, a flattened droplet. So it's only a very small little droplet. It's flattened. And then we did a little design on it. So into a ball then use this finger here and go over and back like this. So over and back like that, just to give it a little impression of a droplet. So look at fat bottom, skinny top. I think we're working well there, aren't we? And then we're going to flatten it like that. Now, so we're going to then put it to the side, like I did my, in my creation there. We're going to put it to the side like that. And so we'll put a little bit of pressure just to stick the red to the orange. And see the way it binds very, very nice. It bonds really, really nice like that, okay? Now, I'm going to get my skewer and we're going to do little lines. So slice in, in, in. In. So I've done one, two, three, four. You can do more, you can do less. But as a little um, extra, a little detail, I'm going to ask you to pull out some of the clay there. One, two, see the way I'm pulling it out with the skewer? Like that, and I'm going to pull it out again. It just gives it a little bit of embellishment, like that. Okay? Now, so I'm quite happy with what we've done so far. So that's the belly done, that's the little... Um, the body done as well so we're doing quite good aren't we it's amazing how much you can get done so quickly with chaotic as well so i have that there now the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go on to the little head next so it's obvious if you look there boys and girls i hear someone shouting yeah it's a ball yeah the actual shape of the head is a ball so i'm going to ask you to take out the amount we had for our head 
and we're going to roll it into a very very simple ball as i said i do mine in the palm of my hand you can do it on the table whatever way you feel comfortable or confident using cleotic please do so look if mine's relatively i'm hoping wrinkle free it is isn't it it is it's going to be a youthful little seahorse now so there's the head so that's um easy and quick done isn't it yeah now, remember we set the other bit away for the tail. So I'm going to ask you just to take a little bit. So look, at that's all the amount we're using for the tail. But I want you to nip around that amount. We're just going to use a little bit of it for the nose of our seahorse. So the nose of our seahorse. And I'm going to just show you the shape of that. So look, at there's the nose there. So it is actually another droplet. See how um, often we use a droplet when we're model making. It's the most important shape to know. So into a ball. And then remember, use this little finger here. And we're going to put pressure on one side of the ball. So that's that droplet done. So look at it. And I've just pushed it out, extended it ever so slightly. So it's a little bit longer. OK, and then we tip it on the table like that. I'm going to hold it up onto my black just to see. So we have fat bottom and a skinny top. Fat bottom, skinny top. Okay, that's an extended droplet. It's just derived from the droplet, but it's a little bit um, longer. Okay, so basically that's the body, that's the head, and that's the nose. So we're doing quite good, aren't we, boys and girls? So I'm going to ask you to take your eye. I have two eyes um, supplied in the pack, but I'm just going to use, I think, one just for this little character here. So I'm going to push it in like this. Push it in. I don't want it on the other side. If you want to do it, please do. But it, it's it's too, um, it's got a lovely character on this side. So I'm just going to keep one eye. You can see there. So he's kind of, it's a side profile of our little seahorse we're looking at. Okay. So there's the eye on, done. Now I'm going to ask you to go back to the red. So look, we've plenty of red, but we only need tiny amounts of red. So please be very careful. So look at, I'm going to nip a tiny bit away. It's, it's half size of a pea isn't it so you roll that into a ball it's just the little embellishment on the nose we're doing so the little red on the nose so it's very simple into a ball and then we flatten it i'm going to hold it up to the screen to show you how tiny it is and then we're going to position it at the little tip of his nose like that see like that so it's very simple boys and girls you know um it's just easy once you know how isn't it and then i'm going to ask you to put it to the side of the little c horse's head like that so I'm going to hold it up like that so he's looking quite good isn't he he's looking very good now I'm going to ask you then to give this little guy an eye socket so again look at the red so the red has to be used for all the embellishments so just be mindful of that so I'm only taking this amount away for the little eye lid so the eye lid if you can see here it's actually a flattened sausage so into a ball into a sausage and then flatten it's ever so simple ever so easy look at a little flattened sausage and then you wrap it around the top part see like what i'm doing there like that again it's just to give it a little bit of life a little bit of different color and a design edge okay so that's more or less the head nearly done so see how easy it is to do very very easy once you once you know how and that's why we're here today to learn a few tricks now we're going to ask you to take the remaining orange from your wherever you left it and we're going to make the tail so everybody look at the tail here it's actually a long extended there's the head going um a long extended droplet okay you can see that so i'm going to ask you then to roll into a ball and then a droplet. And you can see I actually added two eyes on this one. You can do it if you want, but I, I prefer, I'm just for this character, I'm just gonna stick in the one eye, okay? So into a ball. And then decide where the halfway mark is. So remember my halfway mark is around here. I'm gonna, you out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna put pressure on one side only. So you have a fatter bottom and skinny top, but we're gonna make an extension on our droplet. So we're going to extend it, extend it, and you're going to put extra pressure, see on the tip here, because you want it nice and sharp. So you've started with fat, and now we're going to end up lovely and sharp like that, okay? So if you can see, I'm just going to just compare, I'm not sticking it on. Yeah, that's actually lovely, okay? 
So now I'm going to ask you to take um, any bit of the red that you have. So I've got around this amount. So I'm going to ask you to take around this amount here. Okay. This amount of the red. Look good, everybody. Yeah. And we're going to then do one, two, three, four, five, six little stripes. And in order to do that, we're going to roll it into one big long sausage. Everybody listen up, one big long sausage and then divide it into six. So this is a little bit um, challenging in the sense you want it long enough so you'll get six little slices from it or sausages from it, okay? So um, I'm gonna go with that. That'll be more than enough, I think. So look at from there to there. And you want them, I don't want them too thick. So I'm just conscious of the thickness of them. So I think I'm happy with that. So there we'll have three from that there. So if you divide into two, you'll, I'll have to get three little slices from that. One, two, three. So it's this part here, remember, we're doing little design stripes for the tail. One, two, and three. So something like that. So you should have relatively equal. Look, we'll not mind if some of them are bigger than the others, okay? So I'm gonna start off, so that's a big one there. I'm gonna just wrap it around the top of the tail. So see my tail here? I'm gonna put that on there just so you can see. So I have six little sausages of red. I'm gonna start now wrapping them around like this, like this. Okay, one. Two. See? So you can design it any way you want. You can do more at the top, you can do less, whatever way you are confident doing it. You are the designer. I'm just here to give you a few suggestions. One, two, three. So I'm gonna go. There's a nice one there. Four. Just leave a gap, whatever way you're doing it, just try and leave a little bit of a gap between um between them. So there's red, there's yellow, there's red, if you know what I mean. Just so we can do a little dot in the middle. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do a sixth one, I think. It's a small little one. And if you think they're too big, you can cut it and you can amend it. It doesn't matter, okay? You can just, you can do them bigger or smaller. So something like that, boys and girls, okay? It looks very, very good. And now, so again, I still have quite a considerable amount of red left. So now we're going to start doing all the little backbone little balls. I'm doing mine here, okay? So we're going to then, so I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to do five. So look at the red I have here. So all I'm asking you is to take another, around a pea size, okay? around that size, okay? And then we're going to get five little balls from that. So it's very simple again. So into a sausage and divide it into, well, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll go six again, just to keep it even. Six, so six little sections from this here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look, I'm trying to keep them as even as I can, just to recap. It's this here we're doing, these little balls here, okay? Now, so into a ball, and then we're gonna use our little skewer and you're gonna lift it up like that, look at how simple it is, and you're gonna put them in between our little stripes. So into a ball, using our skewer, putting them in like that, and then in the stripe like that, okay? So into a ball, Get our skewer, put it in the center, hold it up, showing you, put it there. Go into a ball. Get our skewer, put it in the center, and then put it there. Into a ball. Get a skewer, tip it in the center. The pointy bit goes into the center. And goes in there. And same for the other. Last but not least, skewer in the center. And then like that. Okay, so there's a very attractive tail. See, very, very attractive. Now, I'm going to ask you that, or not stick it on just yet, we're going to go on now to the body. So there we need to do our little um, 
I'm going to actually change it slightly. Instead of doing balls, we're going to do small little droplets. So I'm going to ask you, still in the red, I've got plenty of red left. I'm going to ask you to take around that amount away. Look at, okay, again, it's around the size of a pea. And we're going to roll it into a sausage. And then six little balls again. Or how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, five or six, whatever you're confident with. I might just do six. So that's one, two, three four, five, six. Some of them are bigger than others. Try and get them as even as you can. So we're going to start off with a ball and a droplet, okay? And then you can use your little hands and you can stick them on. You'll just give it a little bit of a more of an interest if it's slightly different from the tail. So into a ball, look at how tiny the little ball is and you put a pressure on one side of the ball only. That's our droplet, put it on like that. That's two, so into a ball. Tiny little uh, pressure on one side of the ball. That's our little tiny droplet. Three. And then I'm going to go into a ball. Put pressure on one side of the ball. And then add it on. Four. Into a ball. Just a pressure on one side of the ball to make a droplet. Like that. I'm going to get them even as well. I can get one more just down here. So you, you could do five or six. I don't think you'd need any more than six anyway. Okay. So that just varied it slightly. We had balls on the little tail. Now we have little um, spikes on the side of his back. It's just to give it variation and a little bit of a design edge as well. Okay. Now for the head, you can decide if you want to do balls or um, droplets. I'm going to go with the little balls to complement the tail. So again, I still have plenty of red left. So you only need around, you need less because you only need around, again, go with the pea, but I think you'll have, you might have too much. So around that amount, okay. And then into a sausage. And then I'm going to do, I'm only going to do four, I think, little balls. So one, two, three, and four, okay. I have a bit extra there if I need it. So I'm just going to go one. So I'm going to actually do what I did before, wasn't it? Roll into a ball, use my skewer, up like that. You can see into a ball, get your skewer, put a tip in the middle, two. Into a ball, get your skewer in the middle and up like that. Into a ball, get your skewer, tip it in the middle, and up like that, okay? I might just do another little one here at the base into a ball and then if you have space, do it, okay? So there's all my little um, decorations on the backbone complete. So now I'm going to join them up. So there's the tail, look at the tail, it's like that, yeah? And we're just going to put pressure. If you have, if you find it a little bit hard to stick, you can get a little bit of water. If you, if you want, get a little bit of water and bond it. But mine's still quite um, sticky there, so I'm happy enough. I'm just going to have to turn it around to me, boys and girls just so I can have a little look. Yeah, and I just stuck the little head on there. Okay, now we're going to actually give this little guy a smile. So see this tool here, well, just a little skewer. We're just going to put a little bit of pressure. I don't know if I can show it to you here. I'll just turn it around to you there. And you're just going to just put a, a little bit of a smile like that. Okay, you just put a little bit, can you see? Just use my skewer and I just went down, down there with a bit of force. Put a little bit of force because there's almost a bounce with chaotic. It could bounce back ever so slightly. That looks good. Now, so I have my tail on. I have my eyes. I have my head in. I have all my little backbone done. So he's looking very, very good. Now, the only thing is, because I have a little bit of red. I don't know if you have some, you may not. But for anybody that does, Let's get doing a little cap. So this is a very simple way of doing the cap. So I have this amount of clay. I'm going to use it all, but I'm going to ask you to divide it into two. Whatever you have of red left, divide it into two. Okay. So this is going to be for the base, and then this is for the the um, the little peak of the cap. So into a ball. This is show you a little way of doing um, a simple chaotic cap. So into a ball, flatten it like that. And then it's kind of like you're putting pressure in the center. So it's like a hollow, slightly hollow in the center. Now, and then we have the other section of it. 
we're just going to take a teeny, I can't even show you, I don't think because the camera is so tiny. This is going to be a little button for the center of the hat there, look at. A little bit of a button. And then you're going to roll out the remaining bit of red into a ball, into a sausage, and then flatten it, okay? That's going to be for the little peak. And then you just put it like that, that, and that. And then we'll see. Yeah, so you can adapt the little shape you want, okay? Like that and that, something like that. And then we're going to just stick it on as it led. No. Just like that. Give it a little bit of coolness, isn't it? And then don't forget, boys and girls, with the tail, you can wrap it around. Just you make it a little bit more curlier, okay? So that's really that character of our seahorse complete. I hope you enjoyed that. So the next character we're going to do is a little Cleotic octopus. So in our kits, we would have got the skewer, a large amount of red, a smaller amount of yellow, and then two eyes, okay? So I'm gonna ask you just to stretch and fold the red, just to get, um, just to make it a little bit more pliable. So you stretch and you fold and you stretch and you fold like this. So it's lovely again. It's a lovely exercise to do, you stretch and you fold. Okay, I'm gonna put the red right away. Now, so for the little octopus, we're going to get the proportions right here. So we have the red, we roll it into a ball. So that's important. You need to roll it into a ball. And then boys and girls, we're going to divide it into two. So divide it into two. Remember, put your skewer, put pressure down it, and then you'll be able just to get your hands and separate it like that. So there it should be two equal amounts, okay? So the first ball, is going to be for the head and the second ball is going to be for all his legs, okay? And his nose. So I'm gonna ask you to just to take a tiny bit away of one of the halves just for his little nose. So that's basically his head and his nose done, okay? So all this amount here is going to be for his eight legs. Obviously it's an octopus, octopus have eight legs, okay? So we're going to divide it into eight equal amounts. So I'm going to ask you now to roll out into a sausage. This will give us equal amounts for the eight legs, okay? So I'm going to just roll out that, that's enough of a sausage, and then we can divide it into the correct proportions, okay? So if you divide it into two, so we have to get four from this side, four from this side. So this takes a little bit of thinking and a little bit of concentration. So we have two, two parts there. So we're going to get four from this one. One, two, three, four. So that's four. Okay, so that'll do four legs and the other one will do one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to divide these up fully. So you have four, there's four there and you're gonna go four on the other side. So basically we're looking for eight equal amounts of red clay for his eight legs, okay? So if anybody out there can have a look and see, these legs are actually, again, extended droplets. They're extended droplets. So this is what is the shape we need to make for our legs, the extended droplets. So I'm gonna just show you again, very carefully, so take one of your little sections. So I'm taking this guy here and I'm going to roll into a ball. Always start off with the ball, remember? Always start off with the ball. And then you use this finger here and you put pressure on one side. But extended droplets means you go much more longer. Okay? So again, you're keeping that lovely fat part there, but you're just going to extend it slightly. So that's one of them. Okay? It's very simple, but it's, it's, it's effective and it works, doesn't it? You're going to do the next one into a ball. You're going to use this finger here and you're going to make your extended droplet. So remember, keep the nice fat end and make the other bit more slender. So two. You get your finger here and you put pressure on one side and you keep on doing it until you have a fatter, 
top part and then it's more slender going down that way. Use this finger here, remember, put pressure on one side of the ball and you extend it out. See how I'm doing it there? Just to give it a little bit more length and you still have your fat top there. So it's octopusy like, isn't it? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's eight. Okay. So there's eight lovely amounts of legs, isn't it? And they look good. Now, so going back to the head, we have this little head here, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you to get the eyes that were supplied in your kit. So this is where you have to be a little bit, and we have a little section here, remember we kept for the nose, but we might use a little bit of that for the eyelid. So you have to put in the pressure, pressure. You have to be forceful, boys and girls out there. You have to be forceful. There's one eye, and then there's the second eye okay so i've put pressure in mine quite a lot actually i'm going to just try and scoop that out a bit yeah like that now so there's my two eyes there i put pressure on them and so for the little nose amount i'm going to ask you to take a tiny bit away just so to, whatever you took away for the nose divide it into two okay divide it into two so I used, we had a little bit of, of clay taken away for the nose, divided into two. And these are going to be for eyelids. So into a ball and then a flattened sausage like that. Okay, and they're going to be the eyelids. So I'm just going to just put them to me and then I'll show you, okay? So you just want the eyes to be held in place by flattened sausages or technically eye sockets, okay? Like that. See that I've done there? And same for the other side. So into a bowl, into a sausage, and then just flatten it ever so slightly like that. This is what we're using to keep the eye in its place. Like that. And like that. Okay. You just have to hold them up to me. I can't really see. So just try and get it as equal and as even as you can. You just put a little bit of pressure like that. Yeah. Now, and then the remainder of the red that we took away for the nose into a ball and into a little droplet like that. Just like that. Okay, I'm just giving it a little droplet nose. You could do a ball if you want, but I just want to do mine into a little droplet like that. Okay. Now, <clears throat> so we have plenty of yellow left. So I'm going to ask you now to get all your little legs and we're going to do one big yellow ball at the tip of his leg for the little suckers. So basically we're going to do three in total, but we're going to just do, take the yellow, take around this amount of yellow. So it's a very small amount, around that amount, okay? It's probably a pea size, isn't it? And we're going to roll it into one big long sausage. Let me just get my tray here. I'm going to roll into one long sausage so you can see, and we're going to divide it into eight amounts. So. This is where it's just um, a little bit time consuming, but it'll be effective, okay? So there's my yellow. That's the only am the amount of yellow that I've taken. I'm going to divide it into eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've kind of, I've done mine into amounts this size. So I'm going to hold it up to the screen now so you'll see that. And I'm going to put that to the tip, okay? To the very tip. So these are kind of the suckers of the little um, octopus too. And then that. So there's my eight done. So I'm going to repeat that three times i'm going to have basically ultimately three on each leg so again i'm going to ask you to take around this amount away so this is for the second sucker so around that amount away the same as the last time so roll it into a sausage big long sausage and then you can do it more maybe mathematical mathematical than i did the last time we're going to divide it into two 
and then we do four from this leg and four for, for the other four legs. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So there it'll be four amounts, on, sorry, eight amounts in total. Go into a ball, like that. This and then this into a ball and then getting your skewer. So like we did the first row, we're just doing our second row. So again, use enjoy it because it is a lovely relaxing activity. Into a ball, you get your skewer, put it in the middle like that from this character here as well. Now, so there we have to go again for our last little row. So again, I'm just taking probably around this amount I'm going to show you is probably less than what you did before because we should be getting smaller as we started from the large, the middle, and now we're going to go smaller again. And, do, and then and do a long sausage and then divide it into eight. Okay, so there's going to be four from that side. So one, one, whoops, two, three and four. It's more difficult as it gets smaller, isn't it, boys and girls? One, two, that'll do. Two, three, four. And then I'm going to do one, two, three, four. You can do it more exact if you want. I'm just doing around those amounts for the final little suckers on each leg. Okay? We're into a ball. We're getting our skewer. We're putting it in the middle. Yeah, they're a little bit smaller. It's good. Perfect now of making these little suckers for your news. The yellow and the red, remember boys and girls, are primary colours and they look really good when you put them together, don't they? Just very um, easy to look at. Okay, so there we have all the little yellow dawn suckers on our leg. Now, if you want and you have more time maybe than me here today, but you can do more if you want it. But for now, we're just going to do the three and we're going to start building our little legs. So there's my head with my nose. And I'm going to put one little uh, leg here. And just see, try and get them as even as you can. Okay, so it's two. Two there. And then we're going to, going to go out. So if you have one leg there, try and get the opposite going the other way. So it's kind of it's all symmetrical. A lot of about art and design is about symmetry. symmetry. You want to try and get it as symmetrical as you can. So I've got one there. So I'm going to try and get it on the other side here. That. One up there. And I'm going to go you there. I've got one there. So you're building up and you're sticking underneath. You're sticking underneath like that. So that's the way the legs look when you look at your little octopus underneath. Okay. So something like that there. So he's looking quite good actually, this wee guy. Yeah. Ooh. Now, because we have quite a lot of the yellow left over, I just want to do a little um, embellishment on his nose. So see the way he's got a little red nose? I'm going to do a tiny little amount of yellow at the tip of it again into a ball. Look at how tiny it is. And you just put it there like so. Okay, it's just to give it a little bit of a design edge, isn't it? Okay. Now, and then we can give him a little smile. So you use the tip of your skewer and you just go in, 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 like that. Okay. And you can put a little dot in the center there and dot in the center there, just to give it a little bit of life. Okay. Now for the little hat, we're just going to go, there's too much detail on this. Just, we're just going to go with the little yellow peaked hat there see, and there. Okay. So I'm going to ask you now, so just take, I've got, as I said, quite a lot of um, yellow cleotic left. So I'm going to ask you to take around that amount. That's going to be for the base of her cap. And then that is for the little peak. Okay. So again, into a ball. So it's the base of the cap. We're doing a little yellow baseball kind of cap into, and then flatten it. So into a ball and then we flatten it like that. Okay. And then for the little peaked hat, I think I said it was a baseball. It's more of a little um, C hat we're doing because the little peak is going up. So for the peak here, we're going to just roll into a ball. So around that amount there, into a sausage and flatten it. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to stretch mine out a little bit and you just put it like that and like that. 
So it's very, very simple. And then we position it on the little head like that. Okay. And then just to give it a little bit uh, as if it was designed and um, it was like put on a, a sewing machine, you just get a little bit of our a tip of our skewer and you just do a few little dots all around to give it the indication that it looks like stitching. It just gives it a little bit more again of a design edge. Yeah, I'm going to just do some here as well. See the way I'm doing it there? Yeah, it just gives it a little bit of a finesse, doesn't it? There. And then I'm going to put a little, I just do a little button in the center of the hat. So I'm just using it again, the little skewer, stuff like that. Okay. So he's looking good. Now, the only thing I'm not that happy with, I'm going to just ask you to push in there a little hole in the little nose. Not that I'm not happy, but I just think it'd be nicer if he had a little bit of an indent in his little nose. Okay. So then that concludes that tutorial on how to make a Cleotic octopus. Okay. So there's our two characters we've made today. So octopus and Mr. Seahorse. So boys and girls, I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial and learned a few tips and tricks along the way. Just to remind you that Cleotic is an air drying clay, so keep it away from little siblings and from pets for a day or so, and then you can use it like a toy. So many thanks, and I hope to see you at the next set of tutorials. All the best. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.